or back to playing some more. Uh, yeah, this the last video we rode the train. It was so much fun. It's been a couple of years. At how much fun this game. And we played the first Red Dead Redemption, so it's like I kind of missed out on that craze. If we had like uh, you know, social media around that time frame, it, like it sparked more interest. Well, not just uh, social media. When Red Dead Redemption Two, uh, oh, uh, a couple months before it came out, and a little bit after when it came out. Shows was talking about it, you know, a park. Then there was like, you know, a celebrities talking about it, and so much built up with that game. Or it's like, I wish the first Red Dead Redemption outcry is like, yeah, you gotta play this game. Oh, a people was playing it, but it wasn't that kind of a push. I remember, I was very young. I leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All on you. Can anybody spare me a bike? Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Arthur. Swanson. Jose well, told you that Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake. Yes. Jose well, told you that Javier, Bill, and Charles were already in Valentine. We'll see, Uncle. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> If you're gonna take the old man into town, you can take us too? Well, what you got planned? 
nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. It'll be a, a minute just for me to be, uh, re evaluate my uh, motor skills. It is like a okay. a little bit of that. I never finished the epilogue. I only did like a little bit of it, but it's just like, I guess I kind of exhausted my, uh, uh, I was ready to move on to the other games around that time, so it's like, so much time I've read that redemption, and it's like, I'm just finishing up like some a little bit more of Assassin's Creed Black Flag, which I'm enjoying. But every once in a blue moon, there's like a crazy glitch that pops up. And talking about people talking about like years ago, but that was the first Assassin's Creed game I played. So I know. But I'm enjoying it. Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. Oh, crap, what am I doing? Press the wrong button. ways when it comes to the tracks. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. 
Huh. How you back up? Can you back up in this? Cause that freaking horse is in the way. Hold on a second. One perhaps hidden deep inside but a real one and you haven't your pulse of old lizard blizzards have hearts well arthur i'm proud of you to be honest if you not hadn't been here i probably would have robbed him <laughs> well you did <laughs> In another video, or is that uncle? Already got me, uh, they had me thinking this about like playing this game. Other I wish it was uh, Assassin's Creed video. All that snow on the mountains. Sure, don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no, Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us or to do any real work. She's a society lady now, okay. Take a good look around. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I was, you know, uh, cause I'm not sure how true it is back in, in actual Old West that you can just pay to get the, uh, you know, the law off your back or bounty hunters off your back. That's what you can do in here when, like, you're wanted and you just go to, like, the uh, post office and pay, uh, pay off your debts. Only was it that easy, you know, they, the modern times, right. and like, sure you can it's all serious and you just pay it off. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Uh, <laughs> uh, you kind of sort of can do that, but it's just like, Ooh, yes. and on the severity. Here, all right. Just remember, uh, keep a low profile. Will you remember that though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, a cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? Why don't you pick out a cigar? A cigar always focuses the mind, I find. What are you saying? 
Oh, you seem a little scattered, Arthur. Trust old on. Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Yeah, well, I got no money on me. Okay, wait for me outside when you're done. All right. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Bitters. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. And get like I was like, do I need some? Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house, acted like a servant girl, usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Ah, oh, dang! Press the wrong button. I keep pressing the R trigger.
I just got off like playing some like you know uh You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? You A bath, perhaps? <laughs> Use your strength to help the weak. No trouble now, please. Well, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. <sighs> friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Uh, I paid for nothing. Uh, uh, what the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just... Me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get up. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, love of me. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. You stop right here! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. 
I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding? Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I have it. Yes. Uh... I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. how crazy like during the American frontier you get to get away with bunch That's of crap. Good girl. friend oh you really were just borrowing it appreciate it careful now good to see you back hey mister don't work too hard there a man's entitled to a rest ain't he Welcome back, mister. Come on, Charles! <laughs> hey! All right, there we oh. go. Arthur! Arthur, come here! Come here! Come over here! I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. Larry, there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it well, easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch easy, him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Tough 
Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well. I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. I didn't buy any clothes, otherwise they would have gotten messed up. Anytime I need him.
I'm parched. You will be. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Sure. I'm so happy. I ain't had a friend in a long time. Long, long time. My last friend died. Weren't my fault. They said it was, but they was wrong. It's fun being with you, mister. Can I hold you a second, mister? Can I? I'm gonna, uh... The tree, like, uh... The way, like, the vets are treated right now when... And that's how the, uh, the, uh, that's from the Civil Get War after lost. I'm sorry, mister. I'll see you again. I guess. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, Who's your sir. friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well... There's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity... Shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Uh, oh. mm. Probably not in this video, but I'm definitely definitely have a good time uh, uh, finding these guys more than I thought initially.
okay there? Evening to you. Shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. It's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Anyway, I'd best be going. Goodbye now. That's when I took like a bubble bath. Would you like someone to take over for you? Yeah, okay, sure. Just relax. I'll take care of you. Let me know if you'd like a bit of an extra scrub anywhere. Let me know if I'm scrubbing too hard, okay? Ain't often to get a hot bath and a roof over my head. Really now? He's trying to reach. <sighs> Life can always be worse. Yes, I know. My dog Copper used to take baths with me when he was alive. Well. You know, naked small talk isn't as easy as you might think. <laughs> You're so funny. So what do you do when you ain't bathing folk? Let's see, there isn't much to do here except count the stars, you know? You do feel tense. It would be nice to get like be like that. All right, that's perfect. Thanks. There are places like that that does that. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. 
only it was 50 cents extra. Pretty sure today's economy is a whole lot more. I've uh, done with a couple of the uh, uh, members. I'll check out the gunslinger. I'm gonna earn some more money. I need like a good payload just to take on uh, enemies that will pop up when. Good morning, friend. Good guy. The missions for the end of the story. Can't remember. Excuse me. Step. Morning. I don't want to do it, but it's like... I'll get my honor up.
was there. Arthur, dumbass. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. Jose, you want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No, I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. Easy, boy. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys Jenny too she had some spark that girl it must be pretty hard on Lenny you could tell he was sweet on her well Lenny and Jenny could never have worked that's like Arthur and Martha or Bill and Phil <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Whoa, boy, easy now. <laughs> Stables are just up ahead. All right, go sell that big brute. And buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <whistles> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? 
I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But, your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. partner you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse i hope so well i don't sell anything other than good animals you have my word on that here are your papers and on me a new grooming brush and some treats <laughs> appreciate it all right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Interesting choice. How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay, well, with some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Are you going to mount that new back. horse of yours or not? You won't know till you get in the saddle. All right, boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's Cole. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. <sighs> Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here.
Yes, sir. I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Yep. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, uh, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. rabbits before you know yes and obliterated them with a shotgun if I remember right I love rabbits, but, you know, a very useful tool if you want to see if you like, uh, on the winners or if you have, like, a survival kind of situation. Rabbits are pretty much yeah. everywhere. And our squirrels. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Now then. We get a set up. Famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. that we picked up. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama.
Morning, Arthur. You ready? Oh, well, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting a good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur, and let's get after him. Okay, let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Eleven in it in the American frontier was very hard. Dung and bones. Us. Any sign of him? Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Tracks go into those trees. Eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything out. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Damn it. Who 
Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Uh, well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. That's enough Scooby-Doo to know. Never split up. I bring my dog on. Now we wait. A thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going then. I always come back for this because it's those little uh, mountain men that you can sell off but uh, helps to get better uh, clothing. Uh, air meat too. It, the meat rots really fast too. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. 
He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon, look into something. See you later. And I'm gonna end the video right here. I'll pick it up uh, tomorrow with more Red Dead Redemption. So, uh, thank you all for joining me. Uh, check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, Target of Carl. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of this.